Hey, leaders, Pastor Blake here. It's a little bit afternoon on a Friday. Hope you guys are doing well. Wanted to reach out and follow up and let you know this past Wednesday was amazing. We had over 30, well, almost 30 first time guests come and visit this past week which means our students are finding the one, inviting the one. I know a leader recently just told me that their one showed up and is coming back. So this idea of finding the one and investing in them, strategically pursuing them, is happening. Worship has been pure, so props to the band, props to the students who are engaging. If you're a small group leader or if you're a leader of a team and you have students who are leading in worship, make sure to praise them and give affirmation to them. Um, we, we, we truly have favor right now, and so we want to run with that favor. We want to be good stewards of the favor that God has given us. So want to follow up with a couple things, uh, a couple areas off of our debriefs that we've been having with our core leadership team after service that we've been noticing. Um, the first thing is, is Many of you guys are still not checking in. Um, over the past two weeks, we've only had 18 and 19 of you guys um, check in on the iPads. These iPads will be available during our mandatory 6 o'clock meeting. So when you come there, just make sure to punch it in real quick. Um, we are going to begin to hold you guys accountable to what's on the paper, not necessarily what we saw. So if you didn't check in, um, we're, we're not going to be like, oh, I remember you being there. We're going to say, hey, you know what? According, according to the data, you haven't been here the last two out of the three weeks. We really need to evaluate if you're invested in this thing or not. Um, and here our heart. It's, it's not us trying to be mean. It's not us trying to be legalistic. It's really us calling ourselves and holding ourselves to excellence. We wouldn't go to work and not show up on time. We wouldn't uh, do the same thing with a kid's sporting event or a practice and be late and think it's okay. We need to hold this, this honor of serving God, of partnering with His church as something of value. And so that's really the, the heartbeat behind this is, you know, we have students here 30 minutes before the service starts at 6.30, which means we need to be ready by the time they get here. So if, if we can't get here at 6 o'clock to begin to engage and connect and prepare, we're missing out on some sweet time to engage with our students. So begin to um, talk in your teams. Begin to make sure, team leaders, that your team is checking in. Again, you can go to any iPad and do this. And like we said at the beginning of our launch meeting, hey, we need to raise the level of excellence amongst our team because God is growing our ministry. Our student ministry is larger than 90% of the churches in America. So we're no longer a small student ministry. We are a large student ministry. And I firmly believe that processes mm -hmm. and systems support and empower and grow ministry. The other truth of it is, is I don't want people to steal the value. And we talked about this in the beginning. I don't want people to steal the value of you coming and faithfully serving. I don't want people to steal from your commitment to excellence, to your compromise and sacrifice to get here on time. And so I want us as a team to hold ourselves accountable to these things. Um, again, it's not saying someone's right or wrong or mean, but it's saying we as a team committed to this in the beginning, and we need to hold ourselves accountable to these expectations. And there will be seasons where, where people have anniversaries or where you're working and you're out of town or there's a major sporting event. And we all know that there's flexibility to communicate those things. But from the week to week, we as a team need to begin to get here. And, and part of it's this. I just love seeing your guys' face. That 6 o'clock meeting is some of the only time that I get to engage and laugh and see how my leadership team's doing. And it's valuable to me, and it's important to me. So, again, hear my heart on this. I, I'm, I'm striving it and pushing it because we're kind of four weeks into it, and it's easy to get a little lazy in this season. But I want us to come excited. I want us to come and unite in prayer and unity about what God is doing. Um, so these next few weeks are, are going to be amazing. Please make sure to get on Instagram and repost what we got going on. As most of you know, on the 15th, we're going to be doing doing a big giveaway. We have brand new Hill t-shirts freshly designed that we're going to give away to everybody who comes first. First 400 people, we have women's cuts, everything. So don't start talking about it yet, but I'm letting you as a leadership team know, hey, we want to be excellent because in two weeks we could literally have three, 400 students on our campus and we have to be ready to engage with them. The other thing that most of you guys know already that we talked about in our meeting at six last week is that we're doing a big outreach event for this Halloween on Wednesday the 29th, I believe. We're going to be doing a big outreach event in the park. Um, we're going to slowly begin to communicate to our students. It is a costume party. We are having worship. We are doing a big event evangelism altar call. Our target audience is, is those kids who, who are wounded from church, those kids who, who don't know how to connect and engage from church, the Young Life students who, who found Christ and are looking to get in deeper. That's who we're going after. So we have a big fun outreach. I can't give you all the details yet because it's not 100% confirmed, but get excited. If you want to help out with that, 
We need people to help set us up on, on Main Plaza. We're having it downtown. We need people who are going to cook. We need people who want to be on the safety team. We need people who, who want to manage some of the Instagram boosts that we're going to do. So if this excites you, if this excites your small group, let me know and we'll plug you guys in. So, hey, I love you and I want to end you guys with this verse. And it comes out of Psalms 133. And as I open my slow phone, here's what it says. How good and pleasant it is when God's people live in unity together. Hey, I want to let you guys know that that when we pray, we unite. It's just that simple. When you pray for me, when I pray for you, when you and your teams pray beforehand to give glory to God, when you and your small groups pray to be united with what God's doing, the, the, the blessing begins to pour out there. And the verse goes on to say that, that, that when God's people unite, we are at the foot of his blessing. And so I just want to encourage you guys, when we come together on a Wednesday, we are uniting in preparation for the blessing that God wants to pour out. So continue to pray, continue to love. I'm proud of you guys. Thank you for who you are and what you do. And I'll see you guys soon.